Good evening, dear friends. Well, we have to celebrate New Year's again. As we found out, it's the year of the rabbit or hare. And as we all know from cartoons, rabbits and hares have very good vision. So my New Year's gift to you is good vision. We already have several videos that have become so popular that others are remaking them. I did the same, just saw it today. So I'm giving you another batch for New Year's. So you can see, like rabbits, the same red eyes. Only they weren't for you. Just the vision was the same, as if you eat carrots every day, three times a day. But now our exercise will be for those who have farsightedness. We helped those who are nearsighted but ignored those who have, can't read, have to look further, even need special glasses. So the principle is very similar, but there are some nuances. In preparation for nearsightedness exercises, we massaged certain areas, points, relieved spasm, right here, the eye muscle. The difference in exercises for farsightedness is that what we will not be removing any spasmodic areas, but we will need to improve lymphatic drainage. Because, well, farsightedness, it most often develops, of course, with age. It is associated with the fact that the muscles, they lose their tone, and in order for us to return this tone to these muscles, we need to slightly improve the lymphatic drainage. We need to remove excess water from the face, from the head, along with the eyes, with the eye muscles, that is, to remove this swelling, to make the water a little bit go down from our head. What will we do for this? First, we need to open the lymph gates, open the ducts under which it will flow down from our head. First and foremost is the pectoralis minor muscle. To stretch it, you can use a classic exercise. Alexiev has a stretch for the pectoralis minor muscle, patented at the Schumerlinsky Patent Combine. So as everyone knows, we stand in the corner, place our hands at elbow level. This corner is patented by me. No one else can use it except for me. We put one foot forward, also my development. No one can. Position your foot like this. Oops, and we move forward. Here our chest is striving forward. The chest muscle is stretching. We extended it, uniting the shoulder blades at the back. If you feel confident, move on to the modernized Alexiev's exercise. The patent has also been obtained in Ernarsk Politics, in the Technical Patent University. They also handled it, did it? Here the hand position has already changed. Worked for three years on this hand position to figure it out. It should be at shoulder level. Elbow aligned with shoulder. Just like that. I'm giving you the working scheme right away. Forward and backward. Forward and backward. Ten times each leg. It's also my development. Ten times for each leg. No one has done this before. So. Next, we stretched the chest muscles together. Felt the lymph flowing like a stream. A pleasant chill is already blowing on our cheeks. The hair has also started to move a little. What should we do next? Next, let's start with the face. Let's get rid of all the unnecessary water that has accumulated there. Because we need our eyes. First and foremost, we will be doing all this to improve the lymphatic drainage specifically from the eye area. We put our fingers here, right where your eyebrows meet, but just a little higher. You can even just put it in the middle of your forehead. And we do it from the forehead. You move like this directly to the ears, right here. That is, you put it on, press a little, press, and to the ear right here once. Made a move. Held it for a moment. Put it back here in the center. Simply put it and press. We make a move. We did it to the ear. We made about five such moves. You can pinch it like this with your finger and do it right here. We made five movements. After this, we do the same thing. We put it right on the eyebrow itself, right here on the eyebrow, at the top of the eye socket. And we do the same movement here, along the eyebrow and to the ear. We did it from the eyebrow to the ear. This exercise is side effect. Your eyes will become a bit wider. This thing above, if it hangs over you, the thing in the eyelids will vanish over time. If it is precious to you, then don't make this movement. If you don't want to lose it, you did it too. All this stuff. And the third, it's the same similar movement from beneath along the eye socket's lower edge. The same movement goes here. We did it to the ear. 
You can also capture this part here. On the cheekbone. Here you take. Here's everything gathered for you. All the excess water. What's there? Compote. Soup. All that extra liquid. It entered your body years ago, and it's still retained. You first drove it here, and now from here, from the ear. Right here is the sternocleidomastoid muscle. You should do all this. Accompany it here. So that later through our relaxed pectoralis minor muscle, all this spreads out. Through the veins, every drop to feel it again. And so, every move you made, and after every five moves, it's preferable to go all the way down. Do it right here. You can do this from one side, from the other side as well. Just press a little bit. Just press down a bit on the sternoclavicular muscle and make this downward movement. Don't press too hard so you don't lose consciousness a bit. Maintain your awareness. After this, you are just about to start doing the exercise itself. So, what are we doing? For this, we take any text with you. Unfortunately, I didn't prepare. Starting with soap composition, this brief text is good for practice. So, for convenience, it's better not to hold it in hand. For example, can I sit and place it at my eye level? You also sat down carefully. Poured some for themselves there. Cut and poured, sat down. You're resting while training. You poured tea, then you sliced the sausage. Do it at eye level for better results. At eye level is the best. Make yourself some kind of stand here. Make some kind. So, this is how you sit. There are letters in front of you. You start to move. The object, back and forth. And you find such a distance at which you still see some word. For example, here is a word, antibacterial complex. And I see it, for example. Even though I see everything clearly to you, it's like I'm blind. Antibacterial complex. It's like he's so blurry to me right now. And now what am I starting to do? Here I sat down in front of him. And remember, we did an exercise for nearsightedness. We looked at one point and moved. You repeat the same movement, back and forth, up and down, right and left. That is, you look at the antibacterial complex and start turning your head. One way, then the other way. Right, left. Made such movements. Ten times. Now up, down. You can do ten, maybe fifteen. Simply put, you take a straight approach. Second approach. That is, one approach is right, left. The other approach is up, down movement. For first-time viewers who might not know, but you don't know. You are looking at one point and you start moving your head without taking your eyes off this point. Here's an example, antibacterial soap right before my eyes. Indeed, the text is so. For instance, starting with G, I don't take my eyes off this word and I do the same turns right and left. Then if I'm somewhat bored, tired of all these perform at a slight angle from a different angle, you can make turns as you wish to indulge yourself. Perform these movements. So in principle, that's it. If you're a serious person who doesn't want to waste a lot of time, right, left, up, down is enough for you to improve your vision and already read the composition. Already without glasses for toilet paper. You can when you're in the toilet. So, and suddenly you find that after a few minutes of doing the exercise, you're more clearly understanding this word. What do you do then? You take, you have two options here, or you pull it towards yourself. See this little thing? Or you move yourself right here. Here, do as you please. This is your choice. Decide your own life. No one will make such decisions for you. So this is the first exercise. Then the same thing repeats repeatedly until as much as you want, even if you want it like this. I can't see it this way. Blurry, even like this. That's up to you. At your discretion, go as far as you want. 
Do you want to perform in a circus reading like this? No one will judge you, but we will move on to the next exercises at a fairly adequate distance. No one knows what it is, as you like. Next, it's a like. Here, see what we're doing. We take some letter this time, for example. The letter R from the word advantage. We focus our gaze on it, and we start moving this object closer to ourselves. Ideally, this is how we should do it. And here, the clarity gets lost. We lost clarity. Back over here. We made it here. We lost clarity. We don't stay long. We don't try hard if you've lost clarity. We don't strain to see. No, you should do all this with ease, as if you are running through a field of daisies. The grass tickles you, reflecting the desired lightness, as if you're in a sundress. Do you feel it? Let's continue. We do this movement. One, two, it's there. The wind blows your way. Golden curls. Tickles. Here and slowly back and forth, back and forth. And one, you start to see more clearly. Oops, more clearly. You start to see, but ideally somehow already. You'll adapt there so that your hand doesn't get tired. The rhythm is roughly like this, as if you, for example, if, what rhythm, like this one, not fast, so that the muscle can tense and relax. At about this speed is how muscles are trained. For example, they take the bicep. This is the same training. See, I'm training my bicep. And this is me training my eyes. And if you go to the gym, please. So you trained your biceps between sets. You trained your eyes a bit. Well, friends, I hope you are all happy and content. I hope to meet you in the new year. And finally, you can take a good look at me. You will recognize me and switch channels. Well, I'm grateful that your YouTube receivers were tuned to all year. Our wave. Finally, we've reached a million subscribers, a million views with you. And see you in the new year. Congrats. Best wishes. Do sports. Help your parents. Eat. Rest. Rest for 10 days. Then rest a little more and slowly start looking at work again. Review all the videos. You will have a lot of free time now. Comment about who, what, and how. Okay. Happy New Year to everyone. I'm drinking.